with your news update here on CIG TV today. I'm Donna Bush. Late Friday morning, Governor Designate Mrs. Helen Kilpatrick arrived on Grand Cayman. Mrs. Kilpatrick was welcomed by government officials and dignitaries, followed by her inspection of the guard at Owen Roberts Airport. <laughs> has been appointed governor of the Cayman Islands in succession to Mr. Duncan Taylor, who will be transferring to another diplomatic service appointment in Mexico. Later on Friday afternoon, Mrs. Kilpatrick will be sworn in as governor of the Cayman Islands in the House of the Legislative Assembly. When she was first appointed as governor of the Cayman Islands, she said, I am honored and delighted to be appointed as governor of the Cayman Islands. I look forward to, a, to working in a constructive partnership with the newly elected government to ensure a safe, successful and sustainable future for the three islands. And of course, you can watch the entire swearing-in ceremony of new governor, Mrs. Helen Kilpatrick, only here on CIG TV tonight at 8 o'clock. Well, Minister of Finance, the Honorable Marco Archer, says he's pleased with year-ending financial statement submissions. The public management and finance law stipulates that government uh, ministries, portfolios, and offices, along with the statutory authorities and government-owned companies, submit their 30th of June year-end financial statements to the Auditor General's office by the 31st of August each year. Now, all of government's ministries, portfolios, and offices, which total 15 agencies and its 26 statutory authorities and government-owned companies, submitted their financial statements by the statutory deadline to the Auditor General's office for review and examination. Well, Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin stated that he's delighted with this statutory compliance because it solidifies some of government's top priorities of ensuring good governance, accountability, and proper fiscal management. Well, the Cayman Islands government formally makes a request of the United Kingdom to extend its membership in the OECD Council of the European Convention on Mutual Administrative Assistance in Tax Matters. Now, Financial Services Minister the Honorable Wayne Panton says our formal request to join comes uh, after many months of important discussions between Cayman and the UK, and it underscores our continued commitment to proactive participation in matters related to international tax cooperation. Now, the convention is a multilateral instrument designed to combat tax evasion and aggressive tax avoidance by allowing member states to assist each other in tax matters. And of course, you can get more information on any of today's news on our Facebook and YouTube pages. And don't forget to tune into Radio Cayman's Talk Today show with Sterling Dwayne Ebanks. That's every uh, day from 12.15 in the afternoon. On Talk Today Monday, Andrea Bryan and Sierra Aspinall of Rotary Sunrise will be the guest on to talk about literacy. And Deputy Premier, the Honorable Moses Kerkernel, will talk more about government's 99 Days report. And before we go, we'd like to wish the Honorable Premier, Mr. Alden McLaughlin, a very happy birthday from all of us. All right, that ends our CID TV News update for today. I'm Donna Bush. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and bye-bye for now.